Alright, so what's going on everybody? YouTube, it's your boy Rodman coming back again with another motherfucking video. I know it's been a while. I know it has been a while. First of all, I want to apologize if this is out of focus, if it's not in frame. I am using my Sony right now. Don't want to really take out the Canon. Um, as you can see, I do have the backpack on. This Today's video is going to be something simple. I'm honestly going to do a walk around on my car. I know the last video I posted was about my car, the Mustang, when it was kind of stock. So I want to post a video of how it is now, give you guys an updated walk around, show everything I've done, show everything that's coming for the car and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. And as well, I'm going to take pictures because I do have a little sponsorship for it that I need to take some shots for. So uh, stick around, come with me. Yeah, let's see what I, let's see what I get into. All right, y'all. So we're out here cold as fuck at a spot i'm not even gonna say where i don't want to say where i'm from but i'm at a spot um and as you guys can see we got my car in the back it looks way different um a lot of money has gone into this shit that is partially why i stopped filming just because i've literally focused so much on the this car um and the other one i have i do have another car i'll make a video on that hopefully soon if i don't start slacking again um but I'm pretty much just going to do a walk around of everything I've done from the last video. Um, I know a couple of the parts are still on the car from the last video. My car pretty much looks stock. Um, and some parts that I showed in the video are now on the car. So I'll show you guys that. So let me flip this camera around and then I'll show you guys everything I've done to the car. All right. So I'm going to do just a quick little walk around of the car. Um, hopefully the focus is on point. But... Got my boy fucking Cisco over there in the back. But yeah, so this is what the car looks like pretty much. Um, it looks OEM plus kind of. Um, I'm going to start from here since I'm already here. Um, do have the um, MP Concepts, like bumper winglets or whatever they're called. Anchor room, tinted side markers or turn signals or whatever. Anchor room, amber delete as you guys can see if you peep through there. You can still kind of see the amber from certain angles, but not really. And then you do have my fucked up MP Concepts front splitter slash lip. Stock grill still. I could have bought the new one that I wanted, but I've been holding off on it. Come around. You get greeted by these beautiful um, 20 inch Verde V99 wheels. They are a 20 by 9 in the front with a 275, 35, 20 tire. We still have my uh, stock Brembo's as well, as well as Muteki lugs that I had on the EcoBoost. We are still lowered on the H&R Super Sports. You have the blacked out 5.0 badges. Obviously, same wheels, but these are a 305, 35, 20. As you guys can see why I have on my bio that I'm the Fitman Daddy is because, um, yeah, that shit is... Me. Coming back to the rear end of the car, you have smoked Euros, not the clear Euros, smoked Euro tail lights. Uh, I think I have that in my last video. It's an MP Concepts rear deck lid, uh, just emblem delete pretty much. And then I have the street arrow diffuser, just the main piece, not the side parts. I don't like the side parts. I don't know why. And then we have a different exhaust. So I do have the same X pipe. I have a Roush, I have a pipes X pipe coming to Roush axle backs and then I do have what is it called long tube header sitting at home waiting to get installed just been trying to grind for that pop the trunk might be a little bit messy in there but we do have a 12 inch kicker in the back wired up I don't know if you can see it hopefully you can but yeah 12 inch kicker in the back uh, that has a I think an 800 watt amp obviously you got my side stickers now uh, let's get into the engine bay real quick. Even though it's dirty and embarrassing. All right, so don't mind my engine bay. It is actually really, really disgusting. Uh, it's still dirty from when I went to Arizona. But now we do have my JLT 120 mil millimeter tube intake, as well as I did add a throttle body spacer and a Mishimoto coolant expansion tank. Um, in here, it's pretty much all that's done. Just basic stock um, motor with uh, intake and tune I am tuned on 91 by Lund so definitely wakes up the car 
but you know it's all right it could be better going on to the interior which is what i'm most proud about right now because i literally just installed these seats today shout out to my first sponsor though by the way brahm racing was the first person to sponsor your boy so i will proudly represent and show these seats off so these are the black diamond stitching with the red piping on top elite x seats and i did get their red um sfi certified five point harness so you guys can see it uh the only thing is i only made them i took the five point off and i made them a four point harness but if you guys can see from the bottom it does have the extra spot for the fifth point so you can make it a five point harness and i also got their uh the braum racing harness bar from the back this is what you can see i have the harnesses tight on there now you also do have my carbon bargain carbon fiber steering wheel this has alcantara on the sides carbon fiber on the bottom and the top and the red stripe this is a flat bottom steering wheel stock floor mats all that stuff you have my end gauge right there um literally lund racing my shift knob at the moment is a likewise a uh, thick boy shift knob and i have their um ford guy or whatever like adapter because i'd be switching shift knobs all the time but that's what it is right now i'll try to color correct it so you can see it better i do have better pictures of it that i'll put up so interior wise that's pretty much it this is what it looks like but oh my god it's cold so that's pretty much everything i think i've done to the car so far um, I have had this car for about a year and some months now. Um, so it's a lot of progress, but it's still not where I want it to be. I do have a lot more parts sitting at my house. I'm only gonna name a few. I have long tube headers. I have a MGW short throw shifter, a uh, GT350 throttle body. Um, that's all I wanna say. I do have a ton more stuff coming for the car though. Uh, and pretty much just gonna be have it show ready. So I already have wheels a little sneak peek Do have another set of wheels for the car that I'm gonna put on so yeah, that's pretty much it Hopefully I can get this video out in the next week so I can film another one next weekend I am stupid busy with work, but I'm still gonna try and grind a video out a week Hopefully I have some content, you know, that's a walk around on the car if you guys want more or like a video on how I installed the seats and the harnesses. Uh, I can definitely do a little review and like, you know, not installation video because they're already on, but like a little, I don't know, tips that I found out and I had to go through myself to install the video or install the seats and the harnesses. So yeah, I am pretty much just gonna sign this video out. Follow me on Instagram at rodman underscore s550. My Rodman original like fashion account is still up, but I don't really post on it. So the main account that I'd be using is Rodman underscore S550. If you guys want to see it, how it's spelt out, it is right there. So, you know, that's pretty much where I post all this. And I'm mainly active on there. So um, easiest way to reach to me, reach me is there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for this video. Rodman signing out. Peace.